What the hell are you doing here? I'm joking. We are gonna learn location targeting and radius targeting for small business owners. Please stay till the end because you're gonna learn a ton of nuances when it comes to location and radius targeting of a small brick and mortar business. If you have a store that people can walk in, buy or get some services, if it's a gym, can be anything guys, we're gonna deep dive into it so you can learn bits and pieces, every single bit. By the way, if you're a small business owner, definitely you want to subscribe to this channel because I give away free stuff all the time about Facebook ads, marketing psychology, copywriting, and a lot. So you will be a great, great, great marketer at the end of this journey. All right, let's jump into it. Let's go create one campaign and I will show you how you can location target, radius target your... All right, guys, now we are in the Facebook ad account. I, by the way, if you don't know how to navigate to this Facebook ads manager, please watch my other videos. I have a ton of videos how to navigate to Facebook ads manager, how to create your business manager so on and so forth so I don't want to cover that in this video this video specifically going to be focusing on creating a campaign about location targeting and radius targeting so we're gonna click on this little bad boy to create button and we have different objectives so you have to select your objective carefully guys in this case so you don't want awareness I always say to small business owners myself as well if a person comes to me and says specifically I want a awareness and I don't give a damn about nothing else that's the only case I would run an awareness campaign other than that I will never 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 run an awareness campaign because that is simply Facebook's way of getting you spend money without giving you results so do not touch this but what do we want we want to generate leads or store traffic ideally we want leads or store traffic since there is not a store traffic option we can get people to either message us via messenger or we can get people to become a lead so in this case we want to choose a lead guys so we want to get people's information they're going to be living in the radius area so we can call them and get them into our store right so we're going to click leads we go next bam now our campaign is created so what we're going to do we're going to say radius and then put this little uh, bracket thing over here and then you're going to type in the objective of the campaign not necessary but we're going to do this right so there are categories you're not going to specifically choose a category this is by the way really important if you're doing housing or employment or credit if you if you are one of those and don't choose this they will reject your ads guys so what this does is it specifically takes away some interest targeting so in this case they don't want people to you know use gender or age to discriminate people that's the only reason. in this case we are gonna go ahead we're not gonna use advantage campaign budget in this case we're gonna say next all right now we're in the ad side level this is the radius targeting happens we're gonna go on and we have two or two options to get the leads do we want to get people to our website and they become a lead there or we want them to give their information on Facebook if you choose this you have to create a form which is super easy but we will select this one website generate leads if you choose this you're gonna get a higher number but their quality will be lower but if you choose website visitors depending on your conversion rate optimization on the page you're gonna get less but still more quality people they took one more step than the instant list we go down there are different number of options we always go with number of conversions we go this and then select your pixel of course whatever the pixel that you have and then choose lead so in this case we're gonna choose lead we go down all right so you have the option to use dynamic creative but don't touch it yet and then choose the budget for a location targeting budget guys I tend to not pass 50 bucks a day so I want to see which creatives are performing and then I adjust my budget later on but it's always a good idea to start small guys I would suggest starting with 20 bucks a day and then you can increase the budget later on let's scroll down all right this is the part where we target locations this is critical guys this is where we target the location and create a radius if I were to choose let's say Melbourne and we're gonna see the Melbourne popping up if we Melbourne Australia of course not all right if we choose this this automatically gives us a radius right this automatically gives us a radius if you don't want to do that you have to X out of this and then get into the map and then go with your mouse and scroll down 
and then we, what we're gonna do here click on the drop pin and then we're gonna adjust our radius here let's say we have a gym in Turak right we have a gym in Turak and you have to strategically decide if people are willing to travel more than 10k to get to your gym it is quite unlikely so 10k of the radius but one thing Facebook updated their location targeting recently what happens now is we cannot choose people living in this location or people recently been to this location it is still going to target people who visited there or maybe they moved to a different city but you will be still serving the ads that's why I suggest keeping it a little smaller than we used to do to save more money all right let's all right i think this is a good area i want to drop my pin let's say my gym is here and then i will drop the pin right on top of the position that my gym's at so now it gives us 10 miles this is huge guys this is a huge waste of money all right now what we're gonna do we're gonna drop this to two miles two miles approximately uh, i think 5.5 kilometers guys all right now we are covering a hefty area which is pretty good i'm happy with this and people will be likely to travel that distance in this case that's the sweet spot but let's say if you're living in a greater area so in this case melbourne cbd is here city center is here and we are here but if you live in a like a suburb area the you you have to make the radius a little bit bigger i'm talking about a busy city if you are i don't know like ohio some unknown city in ohio you're not going to be able to get many leads in this case you want to make it bigger but with a city that is dense if you're closer to the city you want to make the radius a little bit smaller so the only thing that you have to make sure is you go to the right hand side how you can make sure is don't go below 100k guys don't go below 100k as you can see my estimated audience size on the right hand side is 270k to 318k so i am really happy with this because with a specific brick and mortar location targeting you don't want to go below 80 90 100 my personal suggestion don't go below 100 because with the ios 14 updates you want to keep your audiences as high as possible if it was an e-com store and we were targeting whole australia for instance i would to minimum have an estimated audience size on the right hand side million one million to two million that will be my minimum but in this case we want to go 100k is perfectly fine and if you're above 100k that's perfect guys all right by the way let's say you're targeting um two two miles and you're targeting two miles radius and your target is 20k you have to of course make it bigger in that case right you want to expand that radius you can expand the radius to 10k if your target audience is not 100 K over here don't worry about the estimated daily results and of course you can adjust the age if you're 100 percent sure i have met a lot of business owners they thought they knew their target audience but after the testing we actually found out they didn't know their target audience after the advertising we conducted and then the results showed otherwise so keep that in mind and detail targeting we're not touching this guys this is really important if you touch the detail targeting put some interests in this is going to drop your estimated audience size drastically because we're only doing the radius targeting guys that's really important we're not going to touch this that's why we didn't do campaign budget optimization we're going to go down and you want to choose manual placement because with this strategy you want to show up on people's feet i discourage you to use instagram stories and instagram reels so we're going to x out of everything here and then we're going to only show up in the feed so as you can see bam 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 no stories not so whatsoever just x out of everything so there shouldn't be any ticks only two tick will be instagram feed and facebook feed so this is going to increase your exposure cover the most real estate stories some people debate can it be uh, important but in terms of getting leads stories is not a great place because your copy would not be seen and that is the case all right what we're going to do now you can click or say show more options you can adjust the devices that you're targeting only mobile android don't really bother about in this case don't bother with this go down and check everything if you're happy with everything guys you can adjust your whatever the case may be you know age gender 
play around with it but make sure you don't go below 100k and then we're gonna click next and then it is time to create the ads hope this was helpful guys if you are having trouble creating an ad i have a full copywriting course completely free i will put it up there don't forget to watch it and this was the location targeting for a small business on see you in the next one